we'll see what happens. I did unblock Keemstar, uh, the Fed informant, uh, and I'll, I'll <laughs> I've said much more colorful things about him uh, recently. But we'll see. I'll we'll see what he's got to say. I saw DSP got in his ass earlier, actually, right before I came on air. DSP dunked on Keemstar. Do we have that stream? Oh man, do we have DSP? Let me see if I can find this. Oh man, Keem, you got dogged out. You got dogged out by DSP. Matter of fact, uh, every time I watch DSP, we I'm just like, why do you <laughs> people psychotically hate him? I'm just like, he's not even, he's not even that bad, really. All right, let's see. Is this, um, I don't know if it, let's see, 54. Was that it? Yeah, I think it was this one. He's got like a thousand videos on his channel. DSP Vindicated. You know, I kind of like DSP. All right, everyone. Every time I see him, I'm just like, man, Phil's kind of cool. Let's see. I might be able to find this. Yep. Okay, I can find it. Hold on. There's documented evidence of fucked up things this guy has done. Okay, hold on. He is contacting me like Phil, so what's up? Okay, that's so good. Did I just see? I'm taking damage. His mother was, well, let us see. Why am I taking damage? Oh, I suppose. DSP on Cozy? What the? I mean, dude, I kind of, I'm kind of a DSP guy, honestly. Like, I've tried to get him on the show many times. He won't come on. But, like, it's another, it's another guy that's just like, oh, as far as I ever know about DSP, it's just some guy that Jim was fucking with. Like, I don't even know anything, like, that they, I mean, I don't even know. Uh, that's all I know about him. Jim used to always just attack this guy all the time. Like, I don't even know anything. I mean, I do know about the jacking off on air. That was pretty funny. <laughs> That was pretty funny. I remember writing an article. I remember writing an article about that during during Gamergate. And that got like it got like thirty thousand hits or something. I didn't know anything about DSP though. But I just knew that like a lot of people didn't like him. So I wrote that up. <laughs> I wrote that up real quick. I think it still shows up on the search results when you search about his um his masturbation incident, by the way. A little secret of blogging. Get that shit out there quick. Get some early hits on it. <laughs> All right, let me play this. In the grand scheme of... The one thing I'll say about DSP, though, that bothers me is some of his schemes seemingly... From what I've seen, like, I have not investigated any of his stuff, but I've seen him, like, always... He seems to be a little false sometimes with, like, the money that he needs, quote-unquote. Um, I don't really like... I mean, he's got... A, you know, he's got a base of fans, seemingly. I don't I don't like it when a guy um, exploits or... or you know, acts like he needs money, and then he then his fans would give him if he really needed it, but he lies about needing. It. You know what I mean? Like he's lying about taking advantage. Basically, it's like um, I don't know. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that mentality. Um, I don't like the the oh you know you owe mentality or or anything like that. I, I don't know. I've I've seen some clips, and they're clips, right? So I don't watch DSP all the time. Um, so I can't say I know I know how that goes where people clip stuff out. You know, maybe, but I know I you know. I think that is kind of a thing <laughs> from what I've seen that does seem to be, that does seem to be a thing with him. Uh, and I, I try, I've always just tried to completely avoid that mentality. And it just really, well, just, I don't know. I couldn't, I mean, it's a fake, it's just not cool to lie <laughs> about the money that you need. Also what makes it even more uncool to me at least is when well, he gets the money, you know what I mean? Like he, he has the base of people who support him in his time of need and he's still, you know, taking an extra piece. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm hitting it right. Things she was fairly average. Right? Except I can't. I've been up so long. I can go this way. woman wielded fear like a cleaver. All right, he goes off here in a second though. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? Huh. I never get that part right. Yeah, and then oh, the, but she <laughs> taught her son. If that's true, which to my knowledge it is, where he spent. How do you even spend? Was it like twenty grand on WWE games? Like I don't understand that at all. No, I don't. I don't. I can think of spending 20 grand on a lot of things. That is not even in the top 1 million. Well, police in the very early no. age, the danger could come from anywhere at any time, <laughs> delivered by anyone. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All uh, right. You know, bother to derail my stream. Uh -oh. So, Teamstar, should I ban you now for, you know, trying to derail my stream, or should I, you know? Bother telling everyone what you're talking about, derailing my stream. Or should I just outright just ban you and move on? Like, what should I do? <laughs> just, just curious how you'd like me to handle this. Because you obviously know wow. I'm not going to stop my stream with my viewers to talk to you. He's all about viewers. We've already had a discussion behind the scenes. You were unable to follow simple instructions about when I'm free to talk. 
Wow. So if you're not an intelligent human who can act oh. professional, but you're going to come to my stream in the middle oh. of my work to try to talk shit. And this is his job, I mean, dude. How would you like me to handle it? Just, I'm just curious, 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 curious. Though. How would you like me to, to you know? Because <laughs> I'm not going to have a discussion with you on my stream. Oh, I'm trying right? to you either do what we previously discussed, which I told you times that I was free, you ignored me. Okay? <clears throat> wow. All right. So here we go. All right, hold on. I'm going to isolate it. So now Keem Star's banned from my channel. <laughs> Him from Twitter tonight as well. I don't have to deal with this nonsense anymore. He's a fucking idiot. Oh, uh, fuck okay. that. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Which is what we're doing. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, we're wait, stuck in a weird dimension. No, right? why can't I do this? And uh, I guess right. we gotta do stuff with this Wamba Jack thing. I don't remember this. There we go. So I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Just, all right. Since everyone is Very going smooth. to want to know what's Very going smooth. on, I will take two minutes to explain briefly because Super my audience smooth. is probably incredibly confused. Okay? Shall I? Here we go. Uh, two two minutes the... to explain. All right? Team Star. Many months ago, made a public post on Twitter stating that I was going to be on a podcast with uh, Boogie and Wings Redemption. He didn't talk to me about it. He never addressed it ever. He just made this statement. Okay? So people start contacting me like, Phil, so what's up with this podcast? Are you going to be on it? What's going on? I was like, I have no idea what you were talking about. So then someone linked me to his... Luke Roving sent $3 keyboard. Dude should be the announcer at the <laughs> <laughs> announcer at the <laughs> I'm down for that. Keyboard dude was awesome. Podcast. I met a lot of cool people, actually, throughout this weekend. All of us together. Okay? I ignored it. I didn't hear anything about it. I never got any official offer or anything from the guy. I just completely ignored it, okay? Because I didn't hear anything about it. So then I get a message, like, later, maybe a couple weeks later, from Boogie. And Boogie's like, would you be interested in being on a podcast? And I'm like, well, I don't know. What's it about? And he goes, well, here's the deal. It'll be Yumi and Wings and Keemstar already producing it. And as soon as he said that, I said, no. <laughs> said, I refuse. I want nothing to do with Keemstar. It's too much problem, too much drama there. The guy, everyone hates him. Personally, I don't really know either way. If, if he's as bad as people say he is, but if even a fraction of the shit that people say about what this guy's done on the internet is true, I want nothing to do with the guy. Personally, it would just be as bad as possible. I want nothing to do. If you want to do a podcast, maybe with us working together at some point, or even just have a public I discussion. mean, honestly, you know, Phil, he's putting the point, interesting point there. At some point, I'd be open to that, but I don't want him involved with anything that I do. <laughs> so Boogie's like, okay, we'll leave it at that. Haven't, you know, talked to Boogie or anything about that at all in months. Actually, okay? I'm, I, I've seen part of this already. DSP comes off as super reasonable, logical, and right in this clip. Now, maybe Kim has a different point of view or, or point to make. May, you know, I'm sure he does, but I, you know. All of a sudden, what was it, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, Kim Star makes another public tweet that he wants, he, that he notices that I unblocked him on Twitter. I think at one point he was blocked, and then I did unblock him at one point, and I don't even know why. To be honest. Maybe it was between that discussion about the podcast with Boogie or whatever. I unblocked him to see if he would mess Well, that's what I did tonight, where I was like, all right, well, okay. And I waited until I got back. Of course, I saw all that while I was out in D.C., and I was like, you know what? I'm not talking about this until I get back. Me or something, which he never did, okay? So then he makes a surprise tweet out of nowhere that yeah, he, he has a $50,000 signing bonus for me to offer for me to be on something. It's very vague. There's no explanation or whatever. But he wants me to private message him. Now, wait a minute. I want you to think about this. Hmm. You're supposed to be a professional business person. When you have something you want to, to offer, an opportunity you want to offer someone, right? Do you ask them to message you or do you contact them? I'm a public person. I have all these different ways to contact me, whether it's email, whether it's sending me a direct oh, message man. on Twitter, whether it's a million things, you know, our forums. There's a million ways you can contact me, okay? He wants me to message him. So I ignored it. And then after like a day of ignoring him, he starts posting up things like, he better message me if he doesn't message me. He's going to lose his $50,000 <laughs> signing bonus. So I already told you guys, I want nothing to do with this guy. Okay, I don't. I want nothing to do with him. Anything to, I, as if I have a bad reputation, right? This guy's reputation is far worse than mine will ever be. There's no evidence of fuck up things this guy has done. I <laughs> Damn! DSP is bringing the smoke! What? Holy fuck! DSP just wanted to play video games tonight! All he wanted to do was play games tonight. Juice Star had to come in there, fuck around. I guess, I guess he was just like done with it. Let me play this again. I'm starting to. I don't know, man. I want nothing to do with this fucking guy, okay? But just for the sake of argument, okay? I sent him the DM to get him to shut up and see what he's talking about. He won't tell me. He's basically just saying, I have an interest, I have an interest, a show or something that I want you to be a part of, all right, or, or even maybe host. I know it'll be huge on the internet, but I want to have a phone call with you. And I'm like, all right, well, here are my times that I'm free. You could call me between my streams at this time. You could call me at this Surprise day. Surprise roast. Yeah, it's something fucked. It's something fucked up. So I gave him maybe like two, I mean, three not, times. Something that's going to like fuck with him. I mean, I'm not saying it's fucked up. That might be funny, but. That he could possibly call. He didn't call me during those times. He calls me during a live stream when I can't answer. So he DMs me again and says, so can you just take a call now? Can you take a call now? And I, I messaged him back. I was like, I told you the times that I'm, I was available. You know, like, 
Is it not? Here's the thing. You're going to enter a business relationship with someone, okay? Seriously. I mean, honestly, it sounds like Keemstar doesn't respect DSP at all, and he's trying to make it clear that he doesn't respect him, and he's purposely calling him. Now, maybe this is not what happened, but I can see why DSP would think that. Because I would probably think the same thing. I'd be like, well, this motherfucker's trying to, trying to Bigfoot me, right? Like, wait, what? Like, no, man, I'm busy. Like, I'll talk to you after. The first interaction you have with that person, they're too stupid to call you when you tell them you're free. Well, it's not about, somebody said, why would you respect? Well, it's not about respect. Well, okay. I guess you're right, I guess. He said, why would you respect, would you respect the DSP? I mean, if it's a money deal, it's not about respecting somebody personally, though. I mean, yes, if I was trying to put together a fucking contract for him to sign on to a project, I mean, yeah, I would. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if you like DSP or, you know, think he's some kind of fucking clown or or think he's like the greatest streamer ever if you if i was trying to be a businessman yeah i probably would try to you know be be respectful and nice and yeah let's get this deal done do you want to ever have a business dealing with this person now maybe keep you know i'm sure what he's gonna say is well i just you know this is the time i had it was a big money offer you know you could have taken a minute to talk this guy's an idiot that's probably that probably would be his response which is the other side. <laughs> or is this just the first sign of something bad to come, right? Like the first moment I have any kind of interaction with the guy. Yeah, like, being respectful in a business sense. Yeah, it's about business. Well, it's like, okay. Yeah, it's not about, oh, I love this guy or whatever. It's like, well, you know, there's certain, it's just, you're doing business the right way, I guess. I call you, let's have a call about a show I want you on. But also, I mean, I do under, you know, there is another side where it's like, well, it's a money, big money deal and, this is the time I had to talk, and I just wanted to get it done. Here's when I'm free. Call me one of these times. Instead, he ignores what I say and just calls me random times. Well, no. That well, when you're streaming like DSP, I mean, honestly, his part's pr pretty persuasive, too, though, because it's like, well, he's got a schedule, and he's streaming at certain times, and it's like, well, I'm going to be on the air. You see me when that happens. Of course, you know, I do a lot of streaming, so it's not that big a deal. I can just stop it or, you know, go off camera for a few minutes or whatever. But it is like a thing. It's like, I mean, yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. So why on earth would I ever want any relation with you or any kind of interaction with you if you can't even get a time right to call me, right? Like, it's so stupid. And by the way, I said in the DM that I have with him, I said, just tell me here in this DM what we're talking about, and then we can talk here. No, I want to call you. No, I demand a call. Okay. All right, then. Fuck off. Goodbye, team. I don't ever want to hear from you ever again. Seriously, don't ever bring me up ever <laughs> again. I want nothing to do with you. I was good with, you know, before I ever had any interaction with you, and now I had my five minutes of interaction with you. It was very much a waste of everyone's time. It was very unpleasant, and now I'm done with you. Goodbye. Okay, and that's all I have to say about that. I'm sure this segment will be clipped a million times and will be put all over the internet. That's literally, yeah, I have nothing else to say. Nothing else happened. There's no other interactions. Some people were speculating, oh, it's, he didn't want to fill the box in that celebrity event. That wasn't it. It was some idea for some show he had. He never told me the full idea because he refused to talk in a DM. He wanted to call me. I told him when to call and he refused to call when I was free. DSP goes off on this, man. I've never seen DSP go off quite like this. And that was it. I just ignored Of course, I'm not a DSP like historian or whatever, but to call me i told him when to call and he refused to call when i was free and that was it i just ignored him from then on now he comes to my stream and derails it and gets banned he's an asshole well <laughs> i guess the stories were true keem is an asshole there you go he's proven it on my stream so now we don't have to worry about his bullshit <clears throat> but this will be great because now what will happen is this will be clipped and put all over the internet okay and then idiots on reddit and other places will all come to my channel idiotically and start like trying to leave nasty comments and dumb shit none of which will affect my channel in any way and i can just ignore it all and get extra views so thanks very much okay <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, did he? Michael Kane says Keem now tweeted about this. He's directly linked to this stream, inciting his fans to harass us. Pretty sure that's content, uh, content oh. creator on creator harassment. It's again the use of the terms of service. I wouldn't know about that. All I know is that this is not going to affect anything on this stream. As you guys know, no one can just come here and talk. That's why. I mean, I have no trolling element as it is. It's not going to affect anything. It's just not. I don't care. It, you know, there's zero effect on anything. I don't care about the guy. All right. Oh, the tweet was deleted. So he tweeted it and then he pushed out and deleted the tweet too. On top of it. <laughs> this is the kind of person you want a business relationship with. Let me tell you guys. This is totally a nice, well-adjusted, well, well-hinged person, right? Very based in reality. This is the kind of person you want to be dealing with with business dealings, right? Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Take him. Do we have the? Oh, dude, he just doesn't stop. I mean, he keeps on provoking him, but he does not stop. It's just an all-out fucking assault on Keemstar for like five, ten minutes straight, like no fucks given. Just DSP, just fucking blow after blow. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. All right, that's a uh... person, right? Very based in reality. This is the kind of person you want to be dealing with, with business dealings, right? Okay. <clears throat> anyway, that's enough of that bullshit. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see what actually we were doing here. I, I actually think there's more sense and more seriousness in this alternate dimension of madness of the Daedric Realm than there ever would be dealing with Keemstar on anything. So I'm... <laughs> Might as well just uh, continue here and have a more serious presentation. <laughs> All right, what's up, Turtle Dude? Good evening.
There's the so I didn't see the uh, last bit of that. There's uh there's the SP. Now let me see. Can I transfer this? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.